Hi, I'm Ruth Martifio from Data School Cohort 15, and I'm going to show you how to make a waterfall chart. This chart is great at showing positive and negative components between an opening and closing balance, such as earnings and expenses and a budget, or a staff joiners and leavers for a headcount over a period of time. Um, this chart doesn't require any prep, so let's jump into Tableau and get started. Here I have a budget summary, and you've got, I've got some positive and negative numbers. I'll start off by copying out this sheet and also copying control, dragging onto detail. I'll take my quick table calculation running total and I'll add that onto the um, pane. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do first. Before I do that, I'm going to bring my items across so that it's working in the same direction as the chart is actually working. And then I'll drag my running total on there first, bringing earnings back. And you can see I've got the amount that was added, the new amount, the amount that was added, and the new amount. And I'm going to keep this calculation. So I'm dragging in my table calculation and I'm going to call it running sum. What might also be useful is another calculated field um, and this one I'm going to call the opening amount. So I'm going to take the running sum and just backtrack by the amount that was added so that I have the opening amount. And you see here I have the amount I had, what was added, the new amount, and then that rolls over. So that value carries over into the next column. And that's everything I need to make the table calculation. So to start a new sheet, my waterfall chart, I'll bring in my items and I'll bring in the running sum. And I've got all these values again, earnings. I'm going to remove this for a second so that I can remove, move my earnings forwards. And I'm going to change this to a Gantt bar, which I will then size by the amount in question. Now this is going upwards. I wanted to go downwards, so I'm just going to double click on amount and add a minus sign. So now all the values are going in the direction I want. It's not immediately apparent which ones are positive or negative. So maybe one more calculated field and I'll call this the amount, which doesn't need the minus anymore. Is it greater than zero? We'll just call this color. And this color, then we can drag onto color and maybe just make the colors a little less jarring. And now that's the waterfall chart. There's some other little things we could do to make it easier to read. For starters, we can drag our opening amount onto detail and then up to analytics, reference line, and drag that onto the cell. And we can have opening amount, don't need the tooltip and any other formatting. And do the exact same thing again, a reference line onto the cell for the running sum and formatting. And that just delineates the, the values a little bit more easily. And the other thing we can do then is drag the amount onto label. And you can see how it's formatted there. I'm going to format, look at what's happening here. I've got an arrow going upwards and after the colon, I've got an arrow going downwards and that's just added to the normal currency. Uh oh, Ooh. control Z that, we don't want to undo that. Um, so yeah, an arrow up and down and that's a waterfall chart. Last thing you can do is drag it onto your dashboard and maybe to keep track of the original values, drag the amount up here and the color. And then you have a little summary as well onto the side, just to keep track. Maybe we'll make this full screen. And that's your waterfall chart. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to make a waterfall chart yourself.
Please check the description in the video for links to this workbook and other additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoy this video, you will also like building a diverging stacked bar chart by my colleague Jana Sobany, which deals with a similar topic. Click the link on the screen to watch the video next.